Hello everybody, my name is Jack from Unsolved Studios. Now I know it's been 10 months since our last post and I'm going to be frankly honest, it's all because I lost the login to this account. But I found it now, so I'm going to get back to getting y'all those videos on how to do things within 5M and Grand Theft Auto so we can get y'all rolling on your role play or gaming experience, whatever it may be. All right. So first off, I want to thank you guys for 1.8K on that last video with the uh, lights. Thank you very much. This video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Sirens client side. Client side means only you're able to hear it. So if you're in a 5M server, for instance, only you'll be able to hear that siren, not another player in that server. So super simple and it's going to go by pretty fast. So if you need to pause at any moment, please do so. So you're going to open up your browser's choice. As always, I love Opera. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to type in 5M Siren Pack. And I'm going to click on this first link. This is Whelan Comments Sapphire Siren. I'm going to open it. Now there's a video so you can hear what the gunshots and the sirens sound like. But for this sake, we're going to skip it. So you're going to hit download this file. And I don't want the weapon sounds. I only want the siren sounds. So if you would like you to have gun sounds, you'll download both of these files if you also want that. If you just want the sirens, do the resident. And if you just want the uh, weapon sounds, then you'll just do the weapons player. But for this instance, we're just going to be using the siren. So we're going to download the resident. And we're going to hit click here. This is just going to bypass that five second timer. And then it's going to download up here. So it is a pretty large file. So it is going to take a couple seconds to download or minutes depending on your internet. So I'm going to be right back when this finishes. All right. So this file is done downloading. So we're going to minimize our browser. And if you have uh, GTA on Steam, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to type in Steam. You're going to go to your library. You're going to scroll down until you find GTA 5. On GTA 5, you're going to right click. You're going to manage browse local files. Then you can minimize or close your Steam. Then you'll be brought to your GTA 5 directory. So what you're going to want to do is you'll see an X64. You're going to click on that. Then click on audio, SFX, and you'll be brought with all these .rpf files. So now you're going to want to open your downloads. Take this resident.rpf and you're going to want to drag it into this SFX folder. So we'll say copy and it will bring you this prompt, replace the file destination, click that. That will overwrite the current in-game sirens. You can minimize both and then load into your server or your Grand Theft Auto. And I'll show you guys what they sound like in-game. Alrighty, so now that we are in-game, let's go ahead and spawn a police vehicle in. So for me, I have this vehicle saved. And then you're going to toggle your lights with every way that may be. For me, I have Luxar vehicle control on my server. So I'm going to hit Q. And then I'm going to hit 1, 2, and 3 for the sirens. So this will be your main siren. Your secondary siren. And your third siren. Here's your horn. And here is your whelp. So those are how you install 5M Sirens or Sirens to Grand Theft Auto. If you thought this video was helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content and have a great day. And as always, stay safe.